Hello all my friends, welcome to your Mystic Affirmation reading for Monday, February 17th, 2020. This is a general reading for the day's energy. This is to help us bring ourselves back to our manifestation mode, putting ourselves back in our intention, and bring the positive energy back to the forefront. We battle things through the day that can bring us down. This is the lift you up portion to get yourself back in and let the cards give you some little bit of clue from the universe of how to approach, how to get back in the saddle, and keep moving forward toward your goal. If you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to help you as soon as you schedule your appointment. We can get together and see what's going on for you. Uh, there's also an icon over here to the right bottom corner. If you'd like to go to my page, you can see all the playlists that I have, which include some horoscope readings, weekly readings, uh, some meditations I've put out there. And if you'd like to help support my channel other than getting a private reading for yourself, there's a membership you can join my channel for five, roughly five US dollars a month. You get 20 readings a month, which includes a daily affirmation using different decks and a meditation that comes with that affirmation. So helping clear your chakras and your energy. Now that I've got all that work out of the way, let's see what today's energy has in store. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for your divine guidance as always, and welcome your beautiful energy in this reading. Thank you so much for this blessing. I'm going to announce, guys, I have the, I have it all secured. Our, our retreat date is set, and the, the destination is set, and I'm working on getting it added to my site so that you guys can purchase tickets. That'll be sometime this week. Um, we have the Mystic Retreat happening. It's the Summer Solstice Light Activation Retreat on June 20th, 2020, 620, 2020. It's in Galveston, Texas at Moody Gardens. That is a beautiful place that you can have your family come with you, make a weekend out of it, and they can do their thing while you do the retreat. So there's plenty of things and activities right there at that location that you can have a wonderful time and, and have a little vacay and reactivate your light. This is something that all light workers and anyone who's called in a spiritual way that's trying to find your path and you feel blocked in any way, this is the retreat for you. So I will have more on the website, but I just had to give you the quick announcement. We are now booked and I have a block of rooms if people are coming from out of town. So it's going to be amazing. So uh, more to come, but there you go. I'm, I'm giving you the save the date notice. The King of Wands. This is a beautiful, we had him last week a lot. This is a beautiful energy of taking action, being ready. Uh, you know, kind of just jumping in and going after it. He's very active. He's very much into making things happen. So this is a beautiful energy. It can also mean work and or a new job or being independently employed for yourself. So let's see what our Law of Attraction cards have to say. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Relax. I choose to relax and not fill my mind with worry, as that creates stress. Hmm. Absolutely. We have to be in a place of allowance rather than fear and blocked energy. So that's part of the reason we're doing the retreat. And it is uh, also, I just want to say to y'all, be, be vigilant on checking it out because there will be an early bird discount to allow you to book, if you book early, you get, get some money off. I've got to put all that on the website, but just pay attention to that because it is going to be amazing. The situation will improve. Now that's beautiful. Look at the dolphins. I don't know that I've ever had this card come up and I've had these cards for a really long time. The situation will improve. I love dolphins too. Gosh, that's beautiful. Look at that. It's the bottom of the sea floor. I have never seen this card. In all the time, three years I've had this deck, I've never seen that one come up in a reading. See, you just never know. <laughs> you just never, and that one's the smallest deck I have. It has the fewest cards. I think it's only 40-something cards or 30-something cards. All my other decks have way more cards. Okay, we have 
Number 12, change. The frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality, both inward and outward, so that we can appreciate the, the sweet release of the old and the birth of the new. Absolutely, the sweet release of the old. Let get the old stagnant out of here. Letting that old energy go is a booger. That's one of the things in the retreat. The reading is coming out really strong for that. Everything in my life works now and forever. This is the card that was on top in the shuffle before I bring them out. My life works beautifully. Everything in my life works now and forever. Let's see what our, our second card has to say. I always read the top one just because it shows up. I like this one. I release the need to blame anyone, including myself. We are all doing the best we can with the understanding, knowledge, and awareness that we have. There is no blame. It's true. Everything that's happening is happening for our, for our learning. And sometimes it's not all fun, but it's happening so that we learn from it. I release the need to blame anyone, including myself. We are all doing the best we can with the understanding, knowledge, and awareness that we have. Absolutely. Even when we've done things in the past, it was simply we did things that we weren't aware of, and once we learn better, we do better. Okay. The Eight of Wands. Lovely opportunities coming in. Amazing, beautiful opportunities just flying in from every direction. This is a good thing. This is prosperity and abundance coming in. It's a very good sign. The Nine of Swords is our overthinking something to the point of getting into a little bit of panic attack. Now, this is right before the breakthrough because this is a nine. So the ten is the very next card, which means the release of fear. So you're in the grip of fear, right? This is right here in the worst part of it where you're just, it's hammering away. Now, notice, none of these swords have anything holding them. This is all you. This is where your power is. You can take these down. You do not have to sit under this pressure. Relax. I choose to relax and not fill my mind with worry as that creates stress. That's the exact picture of what's happening there. This, the angels are saying the situation will improve. Change is here and it's talking about it being a beautiful release of the old so that you can make way for the new. This is simply a marker of when you get this panic feeling because everything's going right. When you get this panic feeling, it's a signal saying you're about to make a breakthrough. You're about to step into the unknown, but that doesn't mean it has to be bad. So don't let your fear slow you down because this is something you've been putting out there, this Queen of Cups. She's looking out into the, the great, beautiful, starry night, and it looks like she's having a drink, saluting it. And she looks like a beautiful mermaid, okay? So this is the opposite of this. So you've got to move past this energy to get to this beautiful, she looks very optimistic and she's looking out and they say, okay, bring it on, I'm ready. Let's do this. In, my, in the other uh, decks, the Queen of Cups looks more sad. She does not. She looks like she's looking out there going, okay. Um, it's because she stands, she's sitting on the same crystal that the Fool card in this uh, deck has where she's standing, same cup, reaching it out and like fixing to take the leap. So this is the contemplation before the, the, the taking of the adventure begins. So here we go. We're on the cusp of it. Many blessings to you all. This is a beautiful reading. I hope you all have a fabulous Monday and bring yourself to a point of your power. Don't let your scary thoughts jump all in the way because they are only thoughts. This is only thoughts. They're imaginary. Okay, let yourself move past that and step into your destiny. The situation will imp improve. So if everything is changed, we can't be afraid of every time it changes. So it's not always bad. Many blessings. Have a wonderful Monday. I'll see you again on Tuesday. Namaste.